Hi everyone, so while I've got a few minutes, I really wanted to just do a sort of goals for 2015. I did a New Year's resolution thing last year and the year before. This year is pretty much the same, I'm just going to call it goals for the year. Okay, so reading out first bullet point, I've written down, this was the first thing that came to my mind that I just wanted to just write down. And it was live life as if it were my last. And I know that sounds really cheesy and a lot of people probably say it and it's a bit of a quote, but I kind of, I also writ around it as well, saying stop stressing. Although I don't seem to be a sort of stressed person, I can get a bit overwhelmed by things and some things do play on my mind and I think a big part of that links to migraines as well. I can be a little bit too stressed sometimes. And I've also written, be a calmer me. And I just want to be more calm this year. Stop stressing about the silly things like the kids are in bed at eight o'clock instead of seven. Um, you know, they're eating sweets before dinner. You know what I mean? Just like silly little things. But I just want to stop stressing about stuff like that. It's just, it's not necessarily important things to stress about. And yeah, I just want to be a bit more calmer. I just don't want to shout as much. Um, and just, I don't know, just be calm. I just want to find the inner zen, I think. Maybe I'll take up yoga again. I did yoga at the beginning of last year. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Maybe I'll start yoga again because that really calms me quite nicely. I need to do something. So yeah, that's going to be my first one. It's just find a calmer me, I suppose. Um, another bullet point I've put down is cleaner and greener me. Um, I've put loads of things around this, like... A little speech bubble saying cut back on spending because as you're probably aware I love spending it's just I don't know if it's because I'm a stay-at-home mum so I kind of do have a bit more time to spend um, I do like internet shopping and I'm just a nightmare sometimes I need to start being a bit more frugal I've also re reusing recycling upcycling although I do bits and bobs here and there I'm, I'm not very strict on it and I just think I need to think outside the box sometimes instead of heading straight down to my local store to buy it. So I think just getting more greener is going to be better for all of us all round. And, you know, not just for this year, but for like my whole life, really. Um, and I've written a clean out. I just want to clean up my diet. The last few months have been horrendous. The amount of cheese boards I have eaten and Toblerones, oh my god, I couldn't even tell you this year. Um, so yeah, just cleaning cleaning up my diet really, making it a bit more healthier and just getting back on track with homemade cooking, eating more fruits, drinking plenty of water to help my skin. And yeah, I suppose that's quite a normal one for most people starting the year. I'm also signing up to my local gym. I bit the bullet and I'm like, Graham, I really want to join the gym. I've searched and sort of looked around different like gyms around my area. Well, I've decided starting from Monday next week, I'm going to sign up to my local local gym, which is only £30 a month as well. It is so cheap and it's literally two minutes from Alistair's school and about four, four or five minutes from a, a Violet's nursery. So it's kind of perfect because Violet will be going to preschool or not moving anywhere, but she's basically having her pre preschool hours. So she have 15 hours a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, nine till two. So I can go to the gym then. I can do an evening spinning class, something like that. Sorry, I keep waving around my pen. Um, yeah, so just getting a bit more healthier. This year has probably been my worst year of binging and not exercising. 2013 was probably my best year of my life of being in such a fit state i was so fit and healthy and this year has just been like like going down like the whole year as soon as january hit last year i got so ill for like two weeks i don't know if you remember but since then it just knocked me so hard i just i could not get back into the swing of like going to the gym so yeah this year this year starting from tomorrow because it's the 1st of January tomorrow, I just want to get back on it and get fit and healthy again. Although you might think I'm fit and healthy, generally I'm not as fit as I could be, definitely not, and I want to get fitter. Um, 
Anyway, moving on. So the next one is use my diary to the max. So I have a um, file of facts. I have a diary every year. I always have a diary that I like to write in just for like planning purposes and just my memory is completely shot. I'm telling you since having kids. So I always love to have a diary in my purse. Sometimes though I can slack on using it. I just don't know why. And I just end up writing stuff down on post-it notes. So um, yeah, this year I want to use it to the max. I want to get on top of it, get more organized with it and generally organize my life in general. Um, and see regular friends and family. There's always people in your life where you think, I haven't seen you in like six months. Like where has that time gone? I don't want it to be like that next year. I really want to see people more often. We actually lost three family members this year and I always regret just not seeing them enough, you know? And I kind of think, I just don't want to live like that anymore. I really want to see people, you know, use my diary and just try and fit them in when I can, really. I mean, yeah, so that's another sort of goal for my year. Um, and then lastly, which is one that I had last year and it still isn't done, but it's finished the house. Um, there's still loads of stuff that needs doing to this bungalow and you know, it's always probably going to be like that forever. There's always things you want to tweak and there's always things that want to go on the walls. I have loads of pictures and prints and just artwork that I want on the walls. Just haven't got round to doing it, but I want to do it this year. Um, the office, if you, if you could see my office right now, I did an office tour quite a long time ago, but if you could see my office right now, it is covered in boxes, um, partly because of Graham's grand stuff. Um, but we just need to organise it, we need to sort it all out and just get on top of the office and basically have, I, I want my office back, I actually would be quite nice to go in there and use my Mac, I just can't get to it, I can't even get to the desk barely. So yeah, and the other one is clean up the garden. The garden is an absolute state, we have quite a array of like land around us, so it just needs sorting out, we don't really have a specific nice patio area we have a patio near the pool but it's just it's horrible and it needs there's stuff that needs doing to it so that's also on my list of oh, finish the house they're the like, main priorities is the office and the garden so that is pretty much my goals for 2015 let me know your resolutions or goals i would love to hear them and get some inspiration um i hope you've enjoyed mine and i will see you in the new year